Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of variability, specifically how we can find variability in different situations, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we need to define this word. What does variability mean? Well, we see that word variable, kind of close to that word variability, and hopefully remember that a variable is a value that we don't know what it is. So we replace a number or quantity with a letter such as X or Y or even sometimes M or P or whatever. It's an unknown. And the reason we put that letter in there, that variable in there, is because it can change. So when a situation has variability, that means it is changeable. So let's think of variability as the ability of something to change. Now situational, you see that word situation just right inside of that. So we're looking at situations and trying to decide what parts of that situation can change, have variability, and what parts of the situation will not change. Okay, so let's think of a football game. Whether you're thinking about professional football like the Dallas Cowboys or high school football, middle school football, right? What are some situations that have variability within that football game. And then what situations might have no variability? That means it's not going to change. All right, so let's think about some, a lot of things that might change at a football game. The attendance, the amount of people that actually show up to play or to watch the students play or the professional athletes play depending on which level that can change okay the score can definitely change right each game is going to have a different score because you got different teams and you have totally different environments what else can change about this well sometimes the players can change especially if you're taking into account both teams if you're watching a high school game the home team might stay relatively the same, but each week you're going to get a different set of uh, players in there. All right, so let's think about what cannot change or what will not change in a football game. Well, let's think about the length of the field. So that is not going to change, right? The field itself is 100 yards. And then you've got a 10-yard end zone on either end. So really, it's 120 yards if you count both end zones. That doesn't change. That means it has no variability. Okay? Let's think also about the scoring. We did say that score in each game is going to change. But the number of points, and we'll just take one scoring opportunity as an example. Touchdown. Right? A touchdown is worth six points. And then teams get to decide whether they want to kick a one-point conversion or try to throw or run in a two-point conversion. But no matter how the game changes, a touchdown will always be six points, right? A safety will always be two points. A field goal will always be three points. The points per any scoring opportunity will always stay the same. And then we also have, even though the attendance might change, right? Think about the seats in the stadium. The seats in your stadium are going to stay constant unless for some reason they retrofit it and they add a new section. But for the most part, it's a stadium that's just going to be there. That is not going to have any variability. What is going to have variability is the attendance, right? So you see that we've got the attendance can change because you don't know how many people are going to show up there, but the number of seats in that stadium is going to stay relatively the same. And we could extend this for, for both situations, right? If we wanted to think of another thing that is variable in addition to the attendance, to the scores, to the players, right? We might say the uniforms because, you know, not only do we have different teams in there, we've got home jerseys, we've got road jerseys, so even teams themselves have different uniforms that they might wear in different situations. What doesn't have variability? Well, you're going to see certain pieces of the uniform, such as everyone's going to have a helmet, right? So you're not going to play football without a helmet, but the uniform colors and stuff might change. So those are examples of variability and no variability.